let us discuss how to design an hexadecimal up counter okay hexadecimal up counter means the count should start from 0 0 and it should end at f of h so here we have the assembler directives sjmp main and uh, this assembler directives together with this mnemonic will help us to decide the starting address of program storing so it is going to start from 30h then initially we have cleared the a register after clearing the a register so we introduce a delay here okay so this delay is introduced between every count so that we can clearly see the delay on the output uh, then what do you have here uh, after clearing then after a delay then we are incrementing it by one so this will increment the content of a by one and again we call the delay okay so then what the, we check for the maximum value whether the count reaches the maximum value the count is not reached the maximum value then what we can do we can go and continue the increment as you continue the increment then it will become two like that it will get incremented so we are using a delay subroutine here this subroutine uh, is mainly used to uh, help us to see the counting clearly on the output otherwise the counting cannot be seen properly let us execute this and see so add the file so from the source group so we have the file over here so x up count is the first one so we will add it now then you can close it after adding hexadecimal uh, counting file then you can select the build target if there is no error it will be saying zero then you can start your debugging and uh, here the count is going to take place on a register okay so what you can do you can use this watch window then in the watch window you can have a watch one here and click here and press f2 then again press a now then press enter so it is initialized with the value zero 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 if you run the program then you would be able to see that the counting is having from zero zero to one one then it will increment to two so that we can see the counting clearly three four like this the counting will continue to happen five six seven eight nine after nine you will get a a in hexadecimal counting okay now let us see how to um, see the hexadecimal up down counter how to increment the hexadecimal up uh, down counter okay after nine in hexadecimal you can see that it's going to be a here good then stop the program back to the position and now what we'll do we'll just see the hexadecimal down counter in the hexadecimal down you can see that what do we have here is we have the assembly directives everything remains same only thing is now we are going to start the count from ff then our maximum value will be zero zero so from ff down f e f d like that it will come down and it will come up to zero okay so that we are going to see that here so this one we will remove from here then after that we will add hexadecimal down counter here so asm source and the down program we are uploading it here then add it and close it then you can right click and build the target then there's no error then go to debug so in the debug already we have uh, used a in the watch window so it will be there so now if you run the program the count will start from f f of okay then f of it will go to f e then f d f d and so on it will go up to zero zero h then we can what we can do is then we can see the bcd up counter in a bcd up counter the delay subroutine remains same only thing is we will do little modification in the main part of the program so in a is initially cleared and we are calling a delay subroutine 
and we are instead of using INC here we are using ADD instruction because in a BCD in order to make the BCD addition a valid BCD number we are using this DA inst uh, um, instruction which will adjust the decimal in a way that the sum would be a valid BCD number that's why the DAA is used here after that again the subroutine is called now if you see the counting the counting will start from 0 and will go up to 9 9 because that's a valid BCD number it's a packed BCD you can say that okay so now let us execute this and see this program so you can now add the BCD down program BCD up program so BCD up program and add it and close it then you can build a target so as you build a target then you can start your debugging and as you start your uh, debugging you would be able to see that EA is already added here in the watch window then run the program it will start from zero then it will go to one then similarly it will go up to uh, nine after nine since it's a decimal counting after nine it will be one zero it won't be uh, zero a so how it does happen it is taken care by this da instruction so four five like that it will continue to execute five six then you have what do you have seven seven then you'll be getting eight nine nine after nine it will get one zero so then you'll get one zero yes that's how you should get the bcd up counter now let us simulate the bcd down counter bcd down counter what do we do we'll initialize the a register with the value 99h and we call the delay since for a bcd addition we use this da which is followed by the add instruction so we add 99 with 99 and da will convert that into a valid bcd number so that after 99 you will get 98 then again delay and again it will become 97 like that the bcd will do the down count okay let us see the simulation part of it so now we have bcd down count here okay bcd down count so add a file then you can go for bcd down count so in a bcd down dot asm is the file added it then build a so build the target then you can start your debugging if the after starting the debugging check it out the value of a is zero and that is by default will be there but when you run the program the initial count will be nine nine then it will it will become nine eight then can become it will become nine seven and so on up to value zero zero h okay that's how the bcd down counting is taking place so we can use uh, an assembly language program to design a hexadecimal up counter down counter bcd up counter and also the bcd down counter okay here we will see uh, how to write an alp to check the operations of byte level logical operations okay so here what do we have we have the assembly directives and the combination with the sjmp instruction we decide the uh, starting address of our program storing so that is from 30h so here we have used the stack pointer the stack pointer is loaded with the value 4f so that when the program gets stored when the values are getting stored the stack pointer if you use the push operation the stack pointer will be incremented by one that means the ff will from ff it will become 50 then 50 it depends on the push or pop operation it will continue to execute so here we have mostly used the, used the push operation so that 
the result will be start storing from 50h then what do we have here we have the we have the operands stored in 30 and 31h so from 30h the values will be moved to ah a register from 31h the value will be moved to uh, the with the content of 31h the content of a will be added okay then the result will be stored in a register so this content we push it to the stack stack how by using the push operation push 0 e0 h total happen this a 0 e0 h is nothing but a direct address of a register so now the stack pointer from f of it will become 50 so to the 50 h address, address the and operation will be pushed similarly for a 51 the or operation will be pushed similarly for uh, 52 xr operation will be pushed subsequently we have xr we have a complement and also we have um, the rl uh, rotate left then rotate left with carry rotate right with carry then rotate right Uh, through carry and also swap operations are used here okay so now you can see that here you can uh, build the target and you can start your debugging and now first what we have to do we have to give the values here in the a uh, 30 and 31 h so i use two operands a a then yeah, i use also um, um a cd let me use a b c d okay and for your convenient i'll use the calculator also here so we use the calculator in the uh, programmer mode so that we can able to see the logical operations easily here okay so in the uh, programmer mode of the calculator i keep it in hexadecimal and uh, now when i execute this i'll be able to see the required operation here okay now what are the values i have given here i have given a a okay i have given a a operation a a and it's a bitwise operation as and operation right so a a sorry not a a it is a b a b it is uh and operation ended with cd so a a ended with the cd what will be the value ended with cd that will be 89h so this 89h now it will be in uh, 50h then run the program and you can see that here you have okay 89h having the value the no, sorry the 50h we are having the value um 89h okay and also you can uh, you can see that for r operation so again for a b a b is r with c d then the result will be e f you can see that the result is e f here okay and like that it's get continually it's get stored in the subsequent memory locations by using the push operations by using the push operations okay now let us see the bit level logical operations so here we have the bit level logical operations and here uh, the operations logical operations will be performed on the bits of a operand of a register okay so here we use the bits called 00h and 01h so the content of 00h will be loaded to c register and the content of 1 uh, 1h will be load it's actually bit address so 1h will be ended with the content of c register which we fetched from here so whatever the answer it will be loaded onto 08h okay and very importantly what you have to understand here is the 00h and 01h are the bit address of a byte address 20h 20h and when you store this value 08h again this is also a bit address but this is a, the first bit of the byte address 21h so when you see it in the program you will be able to see it in the output part 
okay next what will have then we have the and operation with the complement or operation or operation with the complement like that set b operations okay and on and, and other operations we have here set b and also the clear operations anything can be executed using this particular bit level logical operations now right click and build a target so no errors then you can go for simulation so in a simulation you can see that the what value we have to load it here so yeah, I can, as i told you i am using the bit address of 20h so what do i do i do it in such a way that the last two digits will be set to high the last two digit will be set to high so that uh, i am entering 0 3h here okay so last two digit means now when i run this program so this is for 20 this for 21 but so when i run this program you would be able to see that the last two digit means uh, the and or the operation will be one so if it is the complement operation it will be zero so like that when you decode it you will be able to see that what is the value exactly it's going to be passed so it is going to give the value 3 dh it's going to give the value 3 dh so this 3 dh if you decode it it will be 0 0 1 1 then 1 1 0 1 will be there okay so that indicates that each and the every bit it indicates the result of an operation okay okay thanks for watching